Hi, and welcome to another video by Jim the Car Guy. Today we're going to be working on a 2009, it's a Hyundai Elantra. We're going to be replacing the front brakes and rotors. So I'm going to uh, take you along and I'm going to show you exactly what to do step by step uh, to avoid any kind of complications. Um, don't forget, subscribe to my channel. If you like what I'm doing, give me the thumbs up. And let's get up there, I'm going to show you now what kind of tools you're going to need and how to go about doing this job. Okay, this is an example of some of the tools you're going to be needing. It's nothing really crazy. You're going to basically need some uh, uh, ratchet, a couple of sockets. I believe it's a 14 and a 17 millimeter socket, a Phillips head screwdriver, a regular screwdriver, or a pry bar, and uh, of course a hammer. And uh, I'll show you what these are in just a minute. Um, but basically what we're going to do is we're going to take our pry bar right here first. We're going to come into here in the back of the rotor right there and we're going to pry just a little bit of pressure on here to just get the piston to push back in just a little bit so we can check our slide pins to make sure that the slide pins are working properly so you just keep constant pressure on it and it slowly starts to push back you don't need a lot of a lot of pressure you just keep it uh, constant pressure on it and you'll see it pushes all the way back in. And then what you're going to do is you're going to check your slide pins up here to make sure that they slide correctly here and here. See? They're sliding just the way they're supposed to, both top and bottom. All right, next thing we're going to do is we're going to take out these screws right here so we can remove the rotor, the two Phillips head screws. Sometimes they're pretty tight, but I'm going to show you how to get them off fairly easy. This is the bolt right up here we're going to take out to take the caliper off. It's a uh, probably a 14 millimeter here and here. And we're going to take this and we're going to relocate it to the side. We're not going to leave it hanging. We're going to hang it by a piece of uh, wire so it doesn't dangle on the cable itself, on the, uh, the, the brake line. So, uh, all right, let's get started and uh, I'll take you along with me. Now we already pushed our piston back in all the way here, but I just want to make sure it's pushed in all the way. Okay. All right. Then we're going to take out those uh, those bolts up here and here, and then you take them out. Once you break them loose, they usually come right out. We're going to just take the caliper, and we're just going to relocate it off to the side for now. We're not going to leave it hanging by itself. We're going to support it so that it hangs up and out of our way while we're working. All right. Next thing we're going to do is we're going to take that mounting bracket off in the back here. And the way you do that is there's a uh, 17 millimeter bolts in the back. They're actually a little light in here. Right back here. This bolt here, right? Right there. And also there's another bolt down over here. We're going to take those two out. And uh, we're going to remove the, uh, the mounting bracket from the car. They're usually pretty tight. So you just bang them a couple times, they come right out. And we're going to hold on to these, don't lose them, because you're going to need to reuse these later on when you put the mounting bracket back onto the vehicle.
and we're just going to relocate this from now to the side. And now we're going to take our our rotor off. Now, when you get in here with a screwdriver, these are really pretty tight. They don't come out that easily, as you can see. They are pretty tight. What I always do is take a, uh, a metal drift, put it on top of the bolt like that, and you strike it a couple times. And then 99% of the time, they come right out. So if you hit it a couple times, you'll uh, you'll break the uh, rust loose on the uh, on the screws, and you can take them right out. All right, now we're going to take our rotor off. Let right, me grab the new brakes, and we're going to put it back together. Make sure that the face of the rotor fits on the uh, the, the rotor fits onto this uh, the hub bearing. You want to make sure that this is nice and clean and there's no rust on here. In this case, it is very, very clean, so we're not going to have to worry about anything with that. So uh, let me grab the new brakes, and I'm going to show you uh, how to reinstall it. Now, I just want to show you uh, something else, too. We're going to change the, the brake um, hardware kit, which is actually on here as well. See how these are all, these are pretty rusty where it fits right inside here. So we're going to change this hardware kit too. Right? Now what you do is just take these off like that and like that. And if there's rust on here, you want to clean it up with a with a file. If there is rust, you just take a file and you file just a little bit in here to get the rust off. Not the metal, just the rust. In this case, it doesn't need it. It's fine. So we're not going to worry about that. All right, next thing we're going to do is we're going to pull the slide pins out. Okay, sorry about that. Next thing we're going to do is we're going to take these slide pins out and we're going to lubricate the slide pins so that they don't rust up and that they slide just the way they're supposed to. Make sure that they push back in and the rubber boot fits right back up onto the top where it's supposed to. They do have to stay in the location that they came out of so you can't cross them. Push it all the way down until it snaps in. And now let me grab the, uh, the new uh, caliper hardware kit and we'll put that back together. Okay. And the way you put the hardware back on is you just put it right over the top like this, push it down, and it snaps right back in. Same thing on the other side too. Right over the top like this. Snaps right over it. And that's it. All right, now, one thing you always want to keep in mind is wherever the brake pad touches, you want to always have it lubricated. The brake pad touches here. You want to make sure you put some grease on everything that the brake pad touches. Makes the slide a lot easier. Okay, so now we're ready to remount this. Next thing we're going to do is we have a new rotor. We want to clean the rotor off because it has it has oil on it from when it was uh, when it was shipped. So you just spray it. You just wipe it off, wipe it down, get some of that oil off. Same thing here. Okay, now we're ready to put it back together. Put our rotor back on, lining it up with those screws that we have to uh, screw in. And then we can put the two screws back in that we previously took out. thing we're going to do is we're going to re reinstall our mounting bracket back onto the car.
tighten up those screws to hold the mounting bracket for the knuckles. Obviously, you want to match them up to make sure that they look okay. And the brake pad fits on just like this, down in here. You push it in here, and it goes right in there. Now, the, uh, the inner brake pad has the disc indicator on it, so you want to make sure that you put the correct brake pad on with the indicator in the right position, because as you can see, this brake pad here, the indicator is in the wrong position, so we don't use that one. This is the correct one right here, so that's the one we use. caliper over the top of the, uh, the new brake pads and push it down all the way and push our slide pins in to accommodate the rotor and then we can catch our bolts that hold the caliper to the mounting bracket and the slide pins through them by hand. and then tighten the uh, 14 millimeter screws up. Now, if by chance you're Tight, tightening up these uh, these bolts right here and the whole thing is spinning, then you would take a thin wall a socket, I'm sorry, a thin wall uh, wrench and you put it over the top of it and you can hold it while you tighten this up so that the slide pins don't rotate. That's not the case here. Everything went together perfectly. So that's it. All right, so let me just recap exactly what we did. We have the, uh, the rotor is put back on. We tightened in both of our bolts here. We installed our new brake hardware kits, both top and bottom. We lubricated everywhere that the brake pad goes. We tightened up the 17 millimeter bolt that holds the mounting bracket to the knuckle. And we also tightened up our bolts that hold the caliper to the mounting bracket. That's it, we're all set. Next thing we're gonna do is we're gonna go around the other side and we're gonna do the same process on the other side. All right, thanks for watching. You need any advice, drop me a line. Be more than happy to talk to you about anything. Thanks for watching, and like always, see you on the next one.